have an island tour today. This is a cottagecore island and it is by Nicole underscore underscore crossing on Instagram. And first thing I have to say is this flag is really pretty. I really like the cedar tree. It looks really realistic and there's some gifts. So let's go ahead and open it up. My favorite gift wrap is, oh, white mums. Oh, we can wear it. Okay, I'm gonna just drop it because I like the hat that I'm wearing. But, okay, yeah, as I was saying, my favorite wrapping paper is, oh, I would definitely carry this, is the one that's brown with the brown bow. I really like that one. Um, that's like the cutest one. I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, yeah, let's throw some flowers. Yes. Um, let's go ahead and go to the entrance. All right, this, oh my goodness, this reminds me of, okay, never mind. Okay, I was about to say it reminds me of my entrance that I used to have, but yes. Let's go ahead and check the map. And this is Nicole's map. They have two um, people, two houses, and the cutest villagers. The sky is amazing. And honestly, Rudy. And this is the map. A little bit of terraforming and water features everywhere scattered throughout the whole island. So here's the entrance. I really like that it's simple, but honestly, it isn't. I really like this. I like the flag that's up there. I'm trying to get out of the picture. I love this terraforming it's like to the side and I like how the flag the island flag is up there too like that's something that I just realized that I should put the flag in the entrance it makes sense um because it represents my island you know welcoming you to the island I love this area it's a little wedding venue I really like this it's very cute and the gnome is, oh, I like how I'm sitting here with my hat. The gnome is the priest. Um, yes, and they have the rings. Okay, and Diana is right here. Honestly, Diana is the bride. She is the one getting married. Um, this is very fitting for Diana. Very delicate. I love this pattern on the stools oh nice she has a little spa and there she is over there i actually love this spa setup really really nice and then here we have the party area so where you can eat and have some cake and the green garden wedding set goes great in the forest in a cottagecore island oh cute little picnic area these sandals are cute and the revolutionary teacup teapot here i am sitting that teacup that everyone wants the one with the flowers that is so cool one of the best items in the game. And here is the little eating area with some pillows. I love that bell. And the tissue box. Embroidered, embroidered tissue box. And here you can get some flowers. So a little flower setup. This is very nice and delicate island. So this is the beach area and very very nice and i see some terraforming over here yes it's okay to put your flag everywhere honestly it like represents your island so that is the the right side of the beach and this is the wedding venue we'll go ahead oh i like this little diagonal rug picnic area Ooh, I see this little art area. Wow, it's hard to decorate in this angle. But yeah, I can still tell that this is for painting. Mm. 
then we'll go upstairs and see this is little market place i think that they are selling stuff and here's a bee farm i really oh i like this i like the wasp models and this oh the presents the pile of what is it called presents is it just called bread presents or is it called like special packages i don't know what it's called but yeah this is like some little um pretty sure they're selling stuff there like a little shop Ooh, nice little lookout area that is actually so pretty very nice and let's just take a picture I really like that lookout area. Oh, and I need a ladder. I should have... Oh my goodness. I need a ladder to go up there to take a better picture. I should have got the ladder. It, I want to see the view. Oh, this is actually adorable. Here's the little gnomes. They're just picking apples and having a little feast. Cute. take a picture of the gnomes super whimsical that is so cute and we'll go past this oh what is this a, a cafe yes restaurant all oh, right so this is the little front desk nice little cafe nice setup I want to give you guys little angles and shots that you can see without me moving I love this river it is very hard for me to do natural looking rivers and this looks really good it's just very hard for me to not make it look straight so yes this looks really good the river and there's a should we yeah we should go see this this phone is stunning and little letter writing area with the secretary's desk Ooh, a lot of things camping and this house looks really good that green Look at these doors. And go up. Ooh, feast. Very green. Yes, the color coordination. Very green. And natural colors. Yes, this natural wood. And here's going to the museum. I love horizontal bridges to the museum. I actually had that. And I will probably be doing, honestly, a horizontal bridge to every area, but definitely to my museum. I will be doing that again. Oh, I like how these art pieces are just like everywhere, just scattered. Very simple museum idea. And okay, we did not see the rest of the beach because it was, yep, cut little lounging area and a little cafe with confetti okay 
Okay, I don't- I was trying to turn it off, but I have this in my hands. And here's some art piled up. It looks very royal and majestic. So, and it also looks like mermaids will live here. Like, the little mermaid. And, oh my gosh, that piano is so expensive. Isn't- isn't it a hundred thousand bells? Pretty sure. And we'll go in this little path. Love the tree trunk for a seat. Honestly, make that tree trunk every, like, for every seat that you need. Just put a tree trunk. little field of flowers nice all white and yellow I need to make a lavender field for my island definitely I'm gonna get some water definitely need to make a lavender field that is Honestly, one of my dreams. I've never had one. And I don't know if I have enough purple hyacinths, but I need to just do it. I have some, but not that many. But they will duplicate, you know? So, yeah. Oh, a little campfire, like, singing in a circle area. Cute. I, I don't see that that often, so, yeah, like, you could do a, like, music- Sorry, I don't know what that was. You can do a music area. Um, cute little like camp, campfire area. I like this dress. And a pumpkin patch, I need to do it. I really do. And you should expect a speed build for a camping area. I mean, for a pumpkin patch. Okay, <laughs> a pumpkin patch. I will be doing that. It is fall and I need it. I don't have one. Ooh, I like this. I love this orchard setup. I think this is honestly my favorite orchard that I've ever seen. It is just so cute. And I, I love how there's a little table. And there's like all the fruits in the middle. I love it. And the gnomes are running it. I love this orchard. I might need to make another orchard just like this. Like just very scattered and then have like a little middle area I love it so much also can you guys maybe consider subscribing to my channel only if you want to um it really helps me out and I'm almost at my goal of a thousand subscribers so I would really appreciate if you would just consider subscribing um i love this area the fabrics are very nice that's something that i really need you know because you can customize anything if you have good fabrics but i just don't have that many i think i only have well i have carpet designs which go you can decorate with carpet designs too so yeah i think i have some that's the thing, is that if you have fabrics, you can use it for a lot of things. You could use it for carpets and just customizing any fabric that you have. And this little picnic area. And this is like a park with fountain. And I have this brick. I, mm, I don't know if it's that one, actually. So, I'm going to go up here. Little sign. And here's Able Sisters. I like this. Oh my goodness, that one is so pretty. The second one right there. Oh my gosh, that's so cute.
So there's Able Sisters. And we got a Rudy's house. And I love that to the side. And he has his little picnic area feast. And I see a couple pumpkins. It does go with his house. The orange. And little... Oh, wow. I like how there's that little um, camper in the distance. That's cute. And it's a sunken in waterfall. I love it. And you can see the camper here. I love this, the green version. And see the campsite. Oh, this is cute. It is very in the wilderness. I love this. That is so cute. I absolutely love that camping area. There's so many trees. And I love how you can see it in the distance over there. That is so cute. Wow, it's a big area. Super cute. I'm just like trying to get a good picture. Beautiful. I cannot wait to see the whole camping area. Oh, there is a house. And I'm not sure. Oh, I like how they combined the both ho both houses. I'm not sure if the interiors are done, but we will go ahead and check. So I like how they're both next to each other. It's cute. And okay, this is Nick's cranny. But first, let's just check if the interiors are done. Um, let's check very quickly. Um, if they're not done, then that's totally fine. And they are done, okay. I'm glad. Um, love this wallpaper. And when I walked in, there's just like a very, very nice color scheme going on. It is like very light colors. And there it goes again, that beautiful dress. I love all these clothes. And like, yeah, the color scheme in here, very nice, cohesive. That couch is nice. This is the first room. And I like how there's these little pets over here. I'm gonna go to this left room. Well, now right room. Ooh, very beautiful bathroom. Love the little jet jacuzzi. And yes, very light colors. And it's a spa with that little towel wrap hanging on the on the wall. And we'll go to the the right room actually, the right room this time. Oh, this is nice. I love the wood tones in here. I really like it. I really want a room that has a lot of wood tones and the antique furniture set. And this is a beautiful room. Like, Nicole really knows how to do interiors very well. Everything fits very nicely. And it's mainly wood tones, but it's like light wood. Oh yeah, like basically all of it is light wood. The light wood color. So here's a little desk area. 
I love this room. And it's very like filled up and a little bit cluttered, which is exactly how I want every room in my house, basically. And a cute little kitchen. I am such a fan of small kitchens, it just makes it look more cozy and more cottagey. If you're looking for a modern and very elaborate kitchen, obviously go with like the upstairs room or downstairs room. But if you want like a cute little kitchen, I would totally go with this. I will always have my kitchen in one of the little rooms. And I really like this kitchen. Very nice and cute. So here it is. And yes. Very nice kitchen idea. And then we'll go to the first floor. I mean, upstairs. We are on the first floor now. We're going upstairs. Oh, this is like a Christmas room. This is actually so magical. Um, the beautiful wallpaper that everyone was shocked about when they first saw it. It was crazy. It is super pretty. It looks super happy in here. And yes, I, it just reminds me of how much I love all the Christmas stuff and how I really love doing Christmas speed builds and all that. I love this pile of gifts. Very nice room. So that's the bedroom. Cute little desserts. And then we'll go lastly to downstairs. Oh my goodness, such a shock. Like there's so many different creative areas. This is a work, uh, art workshop. And I'm wondering what floor that is. Is that a new floor or is it like a QR code? This looks like a real workshop. Very nice, artistic, and creative in here. All this painting, all the paintings on the walls. So colorful. I just love that floor and the walls. I'm really interested in what that is. Because, okay, it definitely isn't a QR code because it's... You can tell when, when a QR code repeats itself. This is definitely a, a floor. I really love that. That is a good idea. A little painting area. That was a good house. I'm excited to go to the next one because Nicole is definitely very good at interior decorating. Very, very good. So let's see if what's this one. Uh, is it another house or is it like a building, like a cafe or something or hotel? Okay, this one isn't done. Okay, yeah, it's not done. Oh, sorry, I just went um, on accident. But yeah, it isn't done. Oh yes, okay. I now remember. The um, right interior wasn't done, but I just forgot until now. I mean, obviously I remembered, I literally walked in. But yeah, the first house was absolutely stunning. And here is on the beach, I was about to say, but we can go up here. Picnic area and wishing well. And I love those ballet slippers. I actually used to wear the ballet slippers just for every day. I used to change into them, my character in the game. Ooh, rock. Garden. And here is the campsite. I am so excited. A lot of terraforming and a lot of trees. And here is 
the campsite. Beautiful. Very good inspiration. I really do want a big area for my campsite because it's just like very fitting. If you have a forest, obviously you need a good campsite. So that gave me a lot of inspiration. I want a huge campsite now. And here's a cute little Red's Beach. Very delicate. And a little trail. And a lavender farm. And ooh, I like this. I just love that. That's so cute. I love these little star fragments on the beach. It looks really nice and super simple with just a little bit of plants, flowers, and flower um, star fragments. And here's a little pool. I've never used this pool in my life, so maybe I should. I love that strawberry farm. I'm gonna need to do this. Because I have it saved like on Instagram like when other people do it I just love it so I need to do it and they really do look like strawberries perfect for the beach because they don't grow and they stay red and yeah I just need to do that for the beach this is interesting a little music oh yeah so yeah, a little like working area where you just listen to music. Records. And I love this house, very cottagey. Washing area. And ooh, a lot of trees up there. And I love this pumpkin pumpkin patch. Oh, cute. I really like that area. Very tropical and I love the bamboo. The light wood. I mean the light, the light bamboo. So here's a little juice bar. Cute, very light and then just pops of green. And a big camping area. This island is nice. I really liked it. Like there's literally nothing that I do not like. Like it's just really nice. And ooh, those do look like sheep. Like literally look like sheep. Oh my gosh. I need that QR code, like they look so cute. It looks totally real. And nice tropical area, surfing area. And piano. And there's a little area up here. cute pink house and more of the cute sheep honestly that sheep just looks amazing oh my goodness this dress is stunning and Judy Judy's house which I love the exterior and we are back and we have seen everything. I really did take a while on this island tour. Honestly, I was just captivated. It was captivating, fantastic, brilliant, and amazing. I really did enjoy this island and it gave me a lot of inspiration. So hopefully it did the same to you. And uh, tell me your favorite part of the island in the comments below subscribe i'll see you guys in another video and yes thank you guys so much for watching and subscribe 
that would really help me out a lot. I've got videos planned out, so stay tuned. I'll be posting very soon. So, goodbye, guys.